Good day guys, Chef Vin again. And I just do hope that we're all okay despite of our difficult situation today. Now, if this is your first time in this channel, kindly subscribe so that you could access to all culinary tutorial videos on our channel. On the last video, I talk about creamed brown sauce, a secondary sauce from the basic brown sauce. So, from the basic brown sauce to sweetened brown sauce and to the creamed brown sauce. Today, I will show you guys a step-by-step -step procedure on how to make a veloute sauce and a basic application to a poached chicken with added vegetables into the sauce. So, let us start. Our ingredients are kailangan po natin ng uh, chicken stock sa baon ng manok dahil gagawa tayo ng uh, veloute. And then, ang gagamitin natin pampalapot ay yung ating white roux. Yan yung arena na merong uh, butter na melted tapos sinalo at niluto. Para yan ang paggawa ng, yan ang gagamitin natin paggawa natin ng viloti. Yung dalawang yan. Okay. Mamaya naman, maglululo tayo ng poached chicken. Ito ang gagamitin natin. Meron tayong chicken stock ulit. Isang gagamitin natin pag poach ng manok. At saka, ito yung ating gagamitin. Boneless chicken breast. Pero, sayang naman yung ibang parte ng manok. Kaya ginawa ko siyang uh, cut into small pieces. At gagawin ko naman siyang fricassee. Ang pag sinabing fricassee po, yan yung combination of heat cooking na merong uh, kunting stir frying para masir yung surface at saka natin siya i-brace at saka natin siya iluluto sa sauce na white na veloute so ang paggagamitan natin isang poached chicken na may side uh, side dish na sauce niya na na veloute at saka chicken fricassee yan and then siyempre meron din pag gumawa tayo ng sauce para sa fricassee at saka sa poached chicken, meron siyang wine. Meron tayong white wine. Ito. And then, lalagyan natin ng vegetable mamaya para siyempre hindi pwedeng puro meat, puro poultry. Kailangan may vegetable. So, meron tayong uh, tinatawag na chateau carrots at saka ito, naghahanap ako ng spinach. Wala akong mabili. Pero at least meron namang water spinach. Yan yung kangkong. Pwede rin naman. Now, to make our sauce, we will preheat our pan and then we will reduce our wine to half of its volume. Remember, to reduce the wine to half of its volume before we add our veloute. We will add additional flavor in our veloute. We will get a little a little sauce and then blend it together with a little water spinach so it could have a nice color of light green. So now it's reduced now to half of its volume. Now we will add our chicken veloute. Okay. So, what we have now here is what we call a white wine sauce because we added a white wine. So, from the basic velouté, it becomes a white wine sauce by adding wine. Later on, it will become a, it will come out, uh, we will come out with another sauce. So we will have to lower the heat. 
there you are. And then I will just get some, a little bit of the sauce and blend it together with the little water spinach. So, we'll just get a little bit of the sauce. There you are. And then, I will add some spinach and blend it together. So here, here it is now. We'll turn on the blender and add the spinach. So it's done. So we'll just add it into the veloute. So here now. We'll add it here to make our sauce a little bit on the green side. So this is the way, the way to add color to our sauce. You wanted it to become yellow, you can add pumpkin. You wanted it to become orange, you can add carrots. You wanted it to become much more green, add a little bit more of the spinach or the water spinach. And then we'll just finish this with a little cream just before we serve it. We will add a little cream. But of course we cannot add a cream right away because it will curdle especially local creams. Now for our chicken stew, chicken fricassee. We will season this chicken with salt and pepper and then we will stir fry it, not to brown, but just to sear the sides. So I cut the uh, chicken into pieces. Okay. And then I will add the sauce that we made. Then we'll just let it simmer until it's done. You can add the uh, mushroom if you want. You can add uh, any vegetable if you want uh, into the dish as extender maybe and also to add color then before we serve it we'll just add cream just before serving okay we'll just simmer it until done now it's done so I have here the stems of the water spinach I will just add it into here so that it will, be, it will not be thrown out Anyway, we will we'll just have it as our lunch. So the stems is with the with the stew, with not the stew but 
with a fricassee. So, in short, this is chicken fricassee florentine. Or let's change, let's make it short, chicken florentine. Now it's done. So we'll just be adding cream. So, this is for our lunch, the chicken florentine. For our vegetables, we will blanch our carrots. So, this is the boiling water with salt, so we have to put it directly to the pan with boiling water and then afterwards we will put it in a, in a bowl with water to stop the heat. So this would not take us so long, maybe this is only around two to three minutes. Okay now it's done, so we'll take it out from the blanching liquid and put it directly here in another bowl with water to stop the heat. And then again in another bowl. So it's completely uh, placed into room temperature. For our boiling liquid, we will blanch again our spinach or our water spinach. Yeah, you just have to put it there in the boiling water. And give it a good boil. There you are. So the water should be salted, huh? Okay. So we have blanched it. Now we'll transfer it here. So we stop the heat. Turn off the heat. And then transfer it again in another uh, water so to stop the heat. Start our poached chicken breast. Of course, we have here our chicken breast, boneless. And then, of course, we have here our chicken stock, wherein we will poach the, the chicken breast into this chicken stock and then when it's almost done we will add the turned carrots or the shadow carrots and of course before we blanch it we have to season our chicken with a mixture of salt and pepper remember the proportion of salt and pepper one part of pepper is to two parts salt then you have to sprinkle it so this is how we do it. You just have to sprinkle the salt and pepper into this chicken breast. Then turn it on the other side and sprinkle it. And then we will put it in our poaching stock. Okay. Now it's boiling, so we will turn. We will, uh, we will, we will lower the heat because it should only be in the poaching temperature. There should be no rapid boiling. 
and then we will place our chicken breast and poach it in this liquid, in this chicken stock. Okay, there you are. You put some stuff on top so that we can will be cooked all throughout. And then we'll just wait for it. We will poach it for about let's say 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, it's done. <clears throat> and then we can proceed to our dish. Now it's almost done. So I will just add the carrots. So the carrots will be uh, cooked together with the chicken stock. So that when we assemble it, even the carrots, it has the flavor of the chicken. This is now the sauce for our poached chicken. So the veluti, I just add some uh, water spinach and then I'll be adding cream and then it's finished. Okay. So the cream. As I have said, we don't have to boil it. No? Turn off the heat and then stir so that the sauce will not curdle. So we have not, we now have the a variation, a secondary sauce from the basic uh, veluti. This is now a Florentine sauce because we added spinach, although this is water spinach. Then we will now assemble it in our plate. So now, the spinach sauce is already in the plate. Now we'll just have to assemble for this. So, there you are now, our uh, poached chicken breast in Florentine sauce. Chicken Florentine. It becomes chicken Florentine because of the spinach. So without the spinach, it is just a plain chicken fricassee. Poached chicken Florentine because we post chicken and then we serve it with a Florentine sauce. It is just a basic cream sauce or a basic veluti sauce with spinach. I believe I have explained to you what a veluti is. I also have shown you the variations from the basic veluti and how to use it to a moist method of cooking like poaching and a combination of heat method of cooking like fricasseeing. Next video, we'll be making a basic bechamel sauce. It is a neutral sauce that doesn't have any flavor of meat, poultry, seafood, or even vegetables. Thank you for watching. And for first timers, please subscribe. See you next video.
This is Chef Ben Casabon signing off. God bless us all.